As I have gone through my news feeds this morning, the trend of the day that has stuck out to me is institutional incompetence. On one hand, there has been a mix of people hyping Google's release of Gemma, mixed with the reviews and comments of people who have actually used it, and a lot of articles about academic dishonesty and problems and cracks that are arising in academic publishing because of widespread use of AI. Let's start with the Gemma debate. Gemma sucks. It's trash. How do I know? I have used it. Do you want to question me on this? Have you used it? If yes, then you have my arguments. Google made it a tiny bit more difficult than usual to figure this out though. You have to jump through a few hoops to even demo Gemma. For someone like me, the hoops were a minor annoyance and a curiosity as to why they are there. For someone not very technical, I think they would turn that person off from jump and they would never even test Gemma. Enough bashing Google for the time being, let's shift focus to academia. Have you met DCK Rat? DCK Rat exists because some academic researchers used AI image generation for pictures and did not even bother to look at the images or captions. Then, it went through an extensive editor and peer review process, where it was subsequently published. The Emperor has no clothes. That's fine though, the Emperor has always had no clothes. The points are all made up and none of it actually matters anyway. So, what does matter? Well, we have been doing this society thing for at least about 4,000 years now on some scale. Some would even say around 10,000 years. I think it is worth continuing that. For the sake of tradition if nothing else. When I think of societies I admire when it comes to all of these things, I look towards the Greeks. That seems to be the go-to for a lot of things, but they are indeed the gold standard, if you will. The Greeks had innovation and thought at the forefront of their societal progress. They built a culture and society on letting the best ideas rise to the top. Innovation at its finest. I think that over the past few hundred years, society as a whole has lost that innovative spark. This isn't to say that society has not advanced in the past 200 years. Surely it has advanced far more and far faster than at any point in human history before it. There is also something that has been lost during that progress though. Or articles like this would not exist, and you would not have read this far into it. I think the greatest asset that AI will be is in being the great equalizer when it comes to these things. It already is. AI at the moment can be argued to be a lot of things. I will simply stick to what cannot be argued about it to make this point. AI is a set of hardware and software that has been trained on, in some instances. The database of human knowledge basically as it exists today, society, as it is built today, is built largely on the gating of information. It does not take a rocket scientist to see that these two concepts are not congruent. You cannot both have a society that is built on gating of information and simultaneously spread technology throughout the globe that gives anyone who is willing to learn access to any information within the human lexicon of knowledge that could ever be obtained. If they know enough about the subject to scrutinize the information and ask the right questions around it, given enough tension, one of these things is forced to break. There is a reason I have been so bullish on AI from jump. I choose the side where information dissemination breaks the damn hole. In a world where information is available to anyone, the only hierarchies become who is willing to work hardest to obtain more information, who is creative enough to uncover and mine information that has yet to be mined. Those seem like simple and straightforward rules to me. They are a lot more functional than the rules that currently exist in the real world. Some DCK rats will have to be exposed and they will lose their current places of power. But that is the circle of life, ultimately. When I see articles about academia potentially crumbling from within, or companies not willing to truly innovate at the new speed required falling behind in the industries they built, I think these things are good, not bad. The emperor has always had no clothes. AI, in all of its current forms, is the ultimate mirror back onto society. It simply reflects back what it is given as inputs. It is able to calculate this in different ways. It can offer critiques along with the reflection. It can ruminate on those reflections. It is going to continue to reflect whatever the most dominant traits are within the data of society. That is fed into it. 
Personally, I think we feed AI some bad things in the status quo. I think the only way to fix that is to fix the data that goes into it. The only way to truly fix the data that goes into it is to fix the societal equation as a whole. Start at the root. I think we still have a long way to go in this regard. I think it will probably be really painful before things start to get better. I think the alternative route is that things start to get more painful as they get worse though. So I choose to embrace it. The Emperor has no clothes, and that is okay. Because the Emperor has never had any clothes, I am glad we can finally talk openly about these things.